Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Quickly, can FBX accelerate this game before this bot lane becomes untenable? Kanavi comes down, level 3 to level 2, how much XP can you get? They're actually doing quite a lot of work, so much damage missing, he does get healed, the damage from the arrow is huge, missing will die in trade to 1 for 1 right now. Doctor still has the spark surge to get over the wall, flash them the arrow. The Hinavi now trying to get some damage out. Still has flash. Should still get the kill and get on out. Two for one. Dive successful. JDG pull off the aggressive dive. Okay, so Milky Way does have a chance to then get make a cross map towards top side. It's a fairly high HP Malphite, but he has no item stun lands. And the flash doesn't really amount to all that much. Milky Way will need to flash. Will die for the trade, but does get the kill. I think that's a mistake here. I think that giving the gold over to Milky Way instead of Shallow, who completely tips this matchup. Philandra can teleport in with the wave not crashed under turret okay. and get huge items. Kaz left out to dry. He's going to get killed here. Kanavi still has flash. Missing gets the Hexlash in as well on the reset from his death. They get another kill. That's a kill in every lane, effectively, for JDG. Um, it feels like Jace just gets outvalued by the Malphite. And he stacks up armor. He maxes up his W. In this game, you very much max the W as well at some point into your mid game. Especially against multiple auto attackers and things get nasty. But Yugao might have to flash, but he still gets rooted. And now the flash counter strike with the leap strike. And it's just a wonderful kill onto Yugao. And now Kanavi in a dangerous position. But Justice mismatch. Rebel reset. Doc down. Gets away from the hook, life goes over, down has come Care, and that's put Ruler in a difficult position. Nowhere really to go, gets rooted, flashes on forward, does not get the kill. Zeri gets that one, and Ruler burns the summoner as well. Important play in the bot side. So that's something back, Care getting onto the map. It's not even the junglers doing this, it's not going to lead to anything more at this point. Dark Dam now with two kills behind it. Flandre at low HP, Canavi on top side, but on vision, that's why Shallow is not necessarily going too hard. Ult comes in, here's Milky Way. Oh, Flandre gets baited, outsmarted the Counter-Strike is there. Kanavi takes the cube back. I don't think he's getting anything oh. more. We could be seeing another reprisal of Milky Way's Jax like you saw against BLG and he just starts getting into all of these fights. Dragon goes down to the side of JDG. Ultimate kind of engage combo and if it goes wrong, mm. the likes of a Jax who suddenly got a... Malphite that's ulted in, a Nautilus that's hooked in, a Lee Sin that's hooked so, in, you can start turning it around. So Grubs are gone for free. Worth noting that it really felt like J JDG, if I were to sum up their playstyle this year, is that they don't make that many errors. They try to get on top lane. And there's still no flash quite yet for Chala, who's just saying, look, I'm dead. I'll clear out the way best I can. Dies. Kanavi turns up top side. This time, Milky Way's not there. ...to fight around bot side because JDG have themselves bot side vision control. So there's going to be a trade of Dragon for Herald, Chemtech going down. For JDG, we'll get to see what our rift is, and it is Drum a oh. Mountain Soul. So it's going to be Mountain Soul. I know you can't always see that logo up in the top left, but uh, that's the one that we're who dying a little later. He's done okay in this side lane matchup. Care gets caught by a combo. Is that realistically going to get more? Yes, it is. Good damage. Yeah, but it's just too late. Nearly a nice kind of response from FBX to be in the right kind of space, but the combo was just too fast. It was. Yet they are. Shallow who is once again in this position where oh, oh my days phenomenal Kanavi just steps in Shallow who was about to say the man has been trying to clear out ways best he can but you just looked at the blue side control from JDG the man saw the follow up and it's and FPX so. with position but Flandre has yeah. teleport so Flandre is not going to use his tele his ultimate because he knows that's his combat advantage he's going back he's going to teleport probably onto one of these pink wards here but is the dragon going to be gone by the time he's here flash him from life is flashed away from from ruler down to 2000 HP as a dragon Kanavi the backside does not get that much value. Dragon take it. Goes Flandre. Goes Flandre into the backside. Huge unstoppable force. But Doc Dam is alive. Look at how much damage he can do. And FBX do get out. Yagao flashes forward. Gets a seismic shove. Ruler can start to do something back. This arrow could prove deadly until the shield comes on through. Karma's done. Over that way. Dragon started by JDG. The last one went the way of FBX. But they're the ones with control right now. And JDG they do buy themselves initially enough entry into this river. Do they lose this tower? Again, look how quickly the waves get pushed from FBX. This is why we're seeing Shiv and Hurricane on the Zeri. That item builds allow them to do this. They find themselves a pick onto Missing, who has Flash. Can we see a flashback from Flandre? He is in such good position. 
potentially force out a fight. Stop the easy value right now. You don't have any other lethality to boost up that item. It's another ult from Yagao. And Dogtam is punted back. It has to dodge away from the hook. Here comes live. Oh, that is a phenomenal flash headbutt to get Yagao down. Life take your hat off brings death to JDG's mid laner. Missing, flashing away. The Nautilus still punctured his suit. No longer safe to be under the water. Flandre now being brought down as well. And the mountain is felled, tunneled through. And FPX make it look like Deep Rock Galactic. Oh my gosh, rock and stone, that Flandre Malphite can't get himself the entry he wants, he's not there for the initial part of the fight, and FBX are rewarded for playing a little bit more slow than they usually do. Ruler, looking to maybe get himself into a position to poke out that someone on the Baron and look for a steal with Kanavi, but they can't walk over, not with Doc Dam, the ability to wall surf over and get himself a flash, maybe into the play. F FBX have actually overcome JDG at this point. It's gonna be so difficult for JDG to find the kills onto the carries. Now it's JDG the ones with the real onus of, you know, of being able to weather the storm and look for that one opportunity. I think they're in a losing position now. Got no teleport on Flandre either. So yes, you've got a couple wards down in the river right now for JDG, but they're not very useful. You can throw your gout. That's about it. But Flandre not having his ult in the mouth fight. See how difficult fight. that is. I mean, how do you fight? The problem with it is about the Malphite. When Mar some middle of the pack flash in the pan, they are right up there with the halcyon gods of the LPL life. A dangerous position, maybe, oh maybe, I've just cast a cursed him. He throws some pretty words out and immediately yeah. a man dies. Yeah, it's so often with FPX sweat a little before they can close it out. They do, they teleport in! Doctam flashes out! They try to get caught over, it's a good head, but away! They don't get over the wall! Doctam trying to survive, finally gets to throw down the lightning crash! Does not die quite yet! Survives! Doctam continues to free fire! The burst fire goes full auto! And FPX win out! Life with another clutch save! Oh, but the power of the stars and life itself! JDG are on the retreat, they swing for Doctam and they just about miss! He's bleeding out, but he gets it! Brought back up to his feet by his teammates. JDG, I think they might just be losing game one. They're on the march on in. Olympus is falling and look who's here to take over the thrones. FPX, they've got themselves a game one. There's still a lot of series to go. There's still more of this tale to be done. But FPX have decided they are here not just to play, but to margins. Now, JDG, what do you do? Again, you don't have summoners now. On the other side, though, no flash on Dockdown, no flash on Milky Wake. What can you do? Here comes Missing. You're trying to get in. That's a fairly decent knock-up into the back line. Kanavi goes again, but still cannot deal with Dockdown as Shaolau, who goes into the backside as well. Jace here to play. The hammer comes crashing on down into the skies. Goes FPX's chance to win the game. They're teleporting in. Care is there. A ruler just... Cannot be careful enough. Ruler loses his crown. FPX win game one. So often in the LPL, bot lane difference is measured with a ruler. FPX snap it in half and throw it on the ground. It's Milky Way. It's life. It's Dokdam. It's fun plus Phoenix taking game one. What year? Uh, a couple of LCK exports in the LPL. Facing off again on distant lands. Ruler, Doctor. Great 3v3. Kanavi yeah, gets hit by the wind, becomes lightning. We'll turn that around with the Vault Breaker, but missing in a dangerous position. Has to burn the heal. Kanavi has to flash out. On the other side, Ruler training with Doctor. Could well win this one out. The arrow still lands. Doctor's got to be careful. First blood to Jinzao. Missing is about to go missing. And now the posters keep flying. Oh no, JDG. The whole town is in the police station looking for. Then he gets tagged by the second wind, wind becomes lightning in this play. And bot side falls Flash. apart. Size, dice, nice job with the Vault Breaker. Shallow who goes down. They get something back to you like we saw before in Season 6. It's been a long time since then. Life gonna walk up again. Oh, There's only a cleanse left. my days. The burn is brutal. Missing's dead as well. And FPX. How much criticism is this bot lane? Footed. This early game from the Rumble support has been absolutely destructive and milk that way. Kanavi oh has level 6. He was not there to defend bot side, but he has himself an ult, and that's a mini nar. Vault Breaker comes on through. There comes Season Desist. Flandre slices, dices, does not have the flash, and the Mega is coming. I think Shallow can keep going. Milky Way's here. They're way too deep. Over comes Shigao. Lands one. That'll be the reset on the ultimate. Who else is coming? No one as it sounds, but actually, Care is here. Milky Way in life. Head into the enemy jungle, and I don't think you win ever a 2v2 there. They're gonna flash forward for the Fates Call. This is the moment they're looking for. They've got the man advantage. Dockdown's got nowhere to go, and Ruler gets something. Okay, it's an overstep here. 
Flash cleanse ult used from Ruler to deal with Dogdam's ultimate. That now leaves missing dead to rights. He's got a flash, but he just can't get far enough away. Flash wind becomes lightning, and they burn so much to kill Dogdam. They have nothing. It looked cool, but now Shao who left out to try a little bit, but has Meganar coming. Dominus Megana. coming. No one else is coming with him, and Tarag has oh, only just been started. No oh, Meganar oh. here. Dead Nar under the turret. So JDG. Early turret. Siege, but the dragon has spawned either way. I think they're just trying to pen JDG to their own side of the map. And we got a brief moment to cool down and just chill out a little bit and see what's going to happen after this point. JDG, they're going to give up another dragon. We'll see what uh, flavor of Rift we're on for this second game I like vanilla. of the series. You like vanilla? Not really. I just no. kept with the first ice cream I, they came to mind. Rift, sadly. I don't exactly know what that would taste like. Sea, sea salt. salt. Sea yeah, salt. it's Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, the, uh, and, uh, well, we'll see if this one's going to be a broken oh, heart on the bot boy. side. It's looking a bit spicy and ice cream down here. Oh, in comes Annie. Care Bears in. Both bot laners down. These AD carries have just nothing to say about anything yeah. in this game. If this is a Kingdom Hearts, that ruler of that kingdom. Uh, either one's fine. I think uh, we'll have to bring that one to the network. Doc Dam has flash, has ult. Might be able to catch someone. He's off of vision. JDG, be careful. Channel's changing very swiftly here. It's looking like some late night horror reruns right now for JDG. People jumping over walls. And, uh, shocking them out of nowhere. And it will be no LPL. This team is very hard to get under the skin. Obviously, the Herald's being charged up. Life is going to be put in here. Is there any chance of a burst? Oh, there goes the arrow. It's onto the, into the charm, but the, the equalizer after is good. In comes a cease and desist, but Kanavi still can't quite get the kill. It's finally a one for one, but everything burned just to go one for one. Not necessarily what you want. Yeah, actually, every play pattern is that arrow hits. It's still gonna do a lot of damage. Either the same oh, ruler. Uh, he has cleanse. He has flash. He might shut down either way. I don't think the cleanse survives. Over the wall he goes. He's gonna try and rend his way out, and instead, Norto comes on through and life. <laughs> One ruler over the wall is not in this fight right now. Harvey charging up that queue. It is a front to back. No flanks on this one. Yagao will be spotted on that flank. They have a honey free. Shallow who Meganar. Does force the fates call. Flandre's ultimate about to go down. Care throws down the bear. Oh my the god. The equalizer damage is brutal. They delete the top jungle of JDG. No longer available to play out this fight. And JDG routed, running to the hills. But FPX are ready to burn and pillage their way to what looks to be a clean 2 0. They will not go quietly into the night they will claim everything they can soul point three kills and they can't quite claim baron because it's just too early the phoenix fancies itself a spot of regicide it kills the ruler once more two and four bot side of the map from fpx is just so monstrously strong a moment to attack care maybe who flashes away throws down tibbers kanavi has to flash flandre with the dominus trying to get something back the arrow does land onto life who is dead the Yigao. turn around those immediately coming through the gal gets over the wall onto care and gets something here is this their moment can jing dong gaming get something milky way though lurky for another wind becomes lightning cannot get an audacious charge over towards the other side of the river we go his doctor has to flash heal away shallow who going away it's currently a two for one and jdg gets something but milky, milky way back a crunch a wallop, a dead ash. Oh my god, these fights are not stopping, but Jay lost his first rookie of the week to shit. And it looks like Flandre, the, the veteran on the roster, getting the a kill back. is good. Care finally dies, but he's done so much work again. The problem is all of these picks are coming at cost. And now look who has to run away to Kanavi. Where does he go? He's got nowhere to go. Might be able to execute, I guess. Ari shoving in the top side. And credit to JDG, they are at the very least. Onto him. Again, that tankiness <laughs> coming through nice and strong. Yigao. Oh, he has to blow his ult oh, early. No. Yigao, that's a problem. He really needs to. Do they Ow. fight in the duration of the charm now? They get the combo onto Nar, but he's mega. And just gets over the wall, stays alive, and they get a massive amount of damage back onto Kanavi. Milky Way throws down the crest and guard. Maybe I've cursed him slightly, but he will flash back out. Goes back. Back in with the wind becomes lightning. Ruler can't quite get the kill. The health bars though from JDG. Higher than FPX is right now. Ah, but they've used their ultimates and you've still got care with this big one and you've got the uh, got here. the li life equalizer as well. FPX, they walk away with lower HP but better tools to fight. Tibbers also stay out on this bot side. JDG oh. think they're just going to oh. lose themselves. The dragon missing might even die to the double burn. He just about gets away and FPX... They don't get themselves a clean fight. Do they have had to play wide because they cannot play in the five versus five? And FPX know it. They punish immediately. 
Ruler burned everything okay. in the last fight. So, Nothing left. FPX trying to stop JDG from coming down the front and center. This would have to be a Baron steal and nothing short of it. Kanavi, how can they gatekeep out of it? Flandre walking up, giving vision. It was supposed to be a close series. It wasn't supposed to be a whitewash. They get one. It's life dead. Kanavi has to back away. Flash wind becomes lightning. Does not land. They are getting something back. And actually, because of the initial kill, FPX yeah. cannot claim the Baron, you would think. I mean, life is... Oh, no, I think Kanavi. that Kanavi has overstayed a little bit. They're going on to Vision Charm. Lands is enough damage. They're looking Milky for Way, it. He's got Crescent Guard, but watch for Kanavi. He can just kill Milky Way! No, he can't! The Crescent Guard's there! The Sun and Sky healing! They flash to get the kill, but at what cost? It's just the Xin Zhao! It's not anybody valuable in so many ways, because you know who's left. It's the Nar. It's the Varus. That Red Sea's coming in, and FPX... Looking to shake the foundations of JDG. They were 9-1. and one. This series was supposed to be close. It was supposed to still be JDG winning. And FPX have slapped in the faces of predictions. Jigao. The damage on the other side, though, gets another kill onto life. Moments like these... I mean, JDG... Again, JDG, they don't have the vision control. It's very hard for them to play into all of this fog of war. You can see that. FPX grouping towards this top side. They're a member down, but they still have a lot of combat stats to bring to bear. A lot of gold to bring to bear, and the Ocean Soul keeping them topped up nonetheless. Items, but it's so hard now for him to fight beyond a two-level disadvantage, oh, and that's another alt landing. It's brutal. Kanavi just doesn't get to do anything. The Fate's Call comes on through, but I think this Fate is a dodgy one indeed. You should have found something better at Luna a new year boys because that one comes out of the shrine and straight into a grave Yagao has to spirit rush away FPX whether they're upstarts anymore how long will it take before people start to really fear them JDG have to contest another alt lands alt oh lands. Dog Yagao flashing alive but so low Kanavi cannot get into the pit fails to get over the wall he's dead as well now the elder dragon about to be secured JDG scrambling running it's fruitless the game is over ruler once again Sloan Shaolau who throws a boulder in his face and there is nowhere left to run nowhere left to hide your kingdom is ashes it is a handful of dust Get it right and it's scorched into the ground by fun plus phoenix jdg they have been slapped they have been put in their place with an elder buff and a numbers advantage fun plus phoenix show that they are not just the upstart rookies they're not just the rookie of the split from milky way they are contenders and they are working their way towards the very top of the table congratulations to fun plus phoenix with a 2-0 victory over the three peat champions of these the were some of the best highlights from today's lpl 2024 spring split matchup which moment it was your favorite let me know in the comment section below this is op and i'll see you tomorrow take care